Hey everyone, welcome back. I haven't uploaded in a while. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jasmine and I specialize in realism with colored pencils. I'm best known for my unusual process of drawing upside down. Today I figured I would just do a voiceover for the current mini drawing that I'm working on. This is something I'm gonna be working on before I get to Aquaman's. I'm gonna finish this and then go back to the Aquaman piece and then I will upload a bunch more Aquaman progress videos with some voiceovers to kind of get you guys caught up with that and give you an idea of my process for working on that because it has been a little bit of a challenge that's why I haven't been working on it I'm just not mentally like ready to dive back into that this is a series that I started last year I ended up just taking a bunch of pictures and curating a bunch of reference pictures because I couldn't decide which project I wanted to work on so I actually have two different ones that I wanted to try outside of the Aquaman one so I decided to title this series manufactured I'll probably do three or four pieces like mini drawings like this and today we're we're just going to be talking about the paper that I use because it is a little bit different than the paper I normally use for my colored pencil pieces. So for this series I decided to call it manufactured because obviously Barbie is a manufactured thing. It's a toy. A lot of people think that Barbie also manufactured a beauty standard like an impossible beauty standard which I wholeheartedly disagree with. I don't think dolls are beauty standards. I feel like people when they see something that's so impossible to look at or so impossible to achieve they set it up as a standard and then they get all butthurt that they can't achieve that standard. So dolls are not a beauty standard. This series of drawings basically just showcases the details of objects up close. So I'm really focusing on all of the fine details, the little chips in the paint, and I decided to use my little Barbie dolls from my childhood. I still have a ton of Barbie stuff stored in bins, although I might sell some of it, so we'll see. I went through a lot of dolls and clothes to see what would work for the vision that I wanted to portray, and I used quite the light set up to photograph them. I felt like CJ Hendry when she messes with all the light sources and takes pictures, takes a thousand pictures of a cookie monster stuffed animal or something like that. In this project I'll probably leave the imperfections in there. Obviously since a lot of the dolls are so old they do have a lot of scratches and they have chips of paint missing. I may keep that. For this project I'm using the Strathmore 500 series 4 ply vellum Bristol. Normally I use plate surface but when I was planning these sets of drawings I wanted to switch up the paper. Vellum is a little bit more forgiving when it comes to erasing and removing color with the X-Acto knife so that's something that I wanted to kind of experiment with and see if I wanted to do the rest of the pieces on the vellum paper. I kind of like how it's turning out even though it's taking longer to color because it's because of the way that the paper is the effect is coming out a lot better than I envisioned so I'm pretty happy with that. You can do a thicker layer of color on it but it does take more effort to fill in vellum paper due to the tooth of the paper. There's a lot more grooves to fill in so you might get more hand cramps when you're coloring. Coloring in different directions works best so color in one direction and then follow it up by coloring in the opposite direction. You might even have to use some tiny circular motions to fill in more as much of the white paper as you need. I really like a thick layer of color. I don't really like seeing white paper showing through so that's one of the things of realism is trying to get good solid color lay down to get the object or the person to really pop on the paper. I'm really undecided. I might switch back to plate bristol. I don't know. I really like how the, the shadows are turning out on the vellum bristol. I don't know. I'm still leaning back towards the plate bristol. I'm kind of stuck to that. I have four ply plate bristol so it is the same thickness as this. It just has a different tooth. I'll end up having to cut up some more sheets of paper for the next pieces in the series. This set of drawings is challenging me to draw real life objects and pay close attention to the light source. The light source source is very important. And that's all I have for you guys today. Also, I do have an art store if you are not aware. It is jasminebakerart.com. I have a lot of originals and prints for sale. I also have some handmade keychains. There's magnets and then I have sticker bundles. So check that out and I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the post notifications if you want to see more videos like this. I will have some time lapse videos up as well, but I'll probably be doing a lot more voiceovers because I'm trying to get caught up on videos for this channel. I've been editing a lot for my second channel, so that's just really a lot of work doing those types of videos, but I'm glad to be uploading back on this channel. I feel like I've been kind of lazy for a while, so sorry about that. Just kidding, I'm not sorry. I don't apologize for not uploading.